Hi, in this video today, I will show you the five things you should do after you install the Windows 11 on your PC. Okay, so now, let's get started. Firstly, you should perform the Windows updates to get the latest version of the Windows 11, and then you also get some the updates for the drives on the Windows PC. Yeah, you click on the Start button and type in the update. Click on the window update settings. In the window updates, you click on check for update buttons. And the window will help you to check and get the latest version for the drives and also some of the necessary updates for the window 11. Yeah. In case if you have anything need to be updated, so the system will automatically get the necessary file from the internet for you and then it will install on the window PC. Yeah, and go to the second thing. You should manage some of the application or uninstall some of the unnecessary application on the Windows PC. You can click on the application in the left menu. Yeah. After that, you click on the application and features option. In the application and feature, it will list down all the application on the Windows PC. By default, after you install the Windows 11, we have some of the default application installed together with Windows 11. You scroll it down here to see the application list. On my PC here, I have the 57 application file here. Basically, I have some other application installed after you install the Windows 11 on my PC here. Okay, and I scroll it down. Assuming I have some of the application I don't want to use on my Windows PC, for example, we have the Spotify, I will click on the three dots icon here, and you can see the option is uninstall, uninstall. It will help me to remove the Spotify application on this PC. The same thing for other option, you can click on the Xbox application. One more thing. Yeah, so for this one, for any application, if the uninstall option is disabled, so that means you cannot uninstall it. Yeah. And then you perform the same action for anything you want to be removed on the Windows PC. Yeah. We go to the third thing here. You should enable the Hibernate option. Yeah. Let me close this one. By default, you know, where you click on Start button, and then navigate to the Shutdown option. Click on this one, and you see we have only the Sleep, Shutdown, and Restart option. But, for example, I'm working on my PC, and we have some of the work still not finished, and I don't want to turn off the PC or shut down the PC. So I want to keep the current state of the working so that when I add off it and I come back to home and then I can open the PC to resume the work and continue working here. Yeah. So I want to enable the Hibernate option to support me. Okay. In order to open the Hibernate option, you click on start button and type in the control panel. Click on control panel option. And then here, you click on the system and securities. I click on the power options. In the power option, I will click on to watch power button two in the left menu here. So here you see in the define power button and turn on password protection, we have the option change settings that are currently unavailable. Click on this one and then it will enable the shutdown settings option below. We have the hybrid option already enabled. Check on this one here. Yeah. And then click on save changes. Yeah. Okay. And close this one. You go back to the start button and go to power option. And you see here the hybrid option has been enabled. Okay, and the fourth thing, you should do some of the setting for the laptop icons. Yeah, by default, after you install the Windows 11 successfully, we have only the recycle bin icon on the laptop. 
So here, let's right click on the desktop and select the option is personalized. And now you click on the Teams option. In the theme option, you will take a look into the related settings. We have the desktop icon settings. Click on this one. And then it will open up the desktop icon settings. In the desktop icon settings, you see here, by default, we have the recycle bin option has been enabled. So in case if you want to display some other icon like the computer, control panel, user profile, and network option. For example, here, I want to select the option for my computer and control panel. I will select it and then click on OK button here. And then close this one. Back to the desktop. You see here, we have the this PC and control panels icon has been added into my desktop. Right click on it and then I will select the sort by name here. Okay. And the last one, we should change some of the folder view options here. You go to this PC and then you take a look into the top menu. Click on three dots icon, see more, and you click on the options. It will open the folder options here. And in the general tab, we have the open file explorer. And for some of the privacy, you can change this one. Okay. And then click on the view. In the view options, you select something here to display some of the hidden files and folder. I will select the option show hidden files and folder and drive. And then I will uncheck the option the high extensions for known file types to see some of the extension of the file on my PC. Here. Open this one. So now here, let me see. I open the documentation. And you see here, it, we can see the extension of the file on my PC. Yeah. I hope this video will help for you. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. See you guys in the next video.